Hey everybody, welcome to Ginza. I thought this would be a great place because it's close to where I live and it's outside, although it's gonna rain soon, to talk about the procedures for entering Japan for October 2023. And I say that in, in jokingly because there are none and I'm getting continuous amount of information, uh, or sorry, questions from, from viewers going, do we need the new vaccine? Because in the US you're starting to get um, I don't know, some weird requirements to be vaccinated in order to do things in the U.S. again? No. And no, and no, and no, and no. It's all voluntary stuff now. And since last year, there has been no requirements for any vaccinations. And actually, it was uh, April of 2023 where they dropped everything in Japan. And it's been pretty much like that. And I do not, in my crystal ball, foresee any reason why Japan would ever bring that back unless people were dying in this like a really bad situation don't worry about it i'm going to show you where you get the information from um right here the ministry of foreign affairs is the definitive information source and it tells you vaccine certificates and pre-departure tests are no longer required to enter japan boom that's it go here if you're worried about it before your trip check out the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I even went and clicked through just to see if there was something. Here's the border measures and all this stuff. Not needed. It's done. Done deal. It's over for that matter. Uh, you're not required to do anything extra, which is good. Basically, we've returned to the days of 2019, more or less. Um, Satrio, who got, he came here from Indonesia, he might come and stop by and we could talk to him about his experience um, coming here uh, through Immigrations and Customs. And I'm sure in the chat here, and everybody that has been back into Japan over the last uh, several months will be able to chime in and give you information. But we have a Discord server with about 17,000 people in it that are helping each other with this kind of information as well. And it's a good idea to join our Discord server. The link will be in the description as well as um, in this live chat here so you can see it. I think it's a Discord, D-I-S-C-O-R-D dot G-G slash only in Japan, one word, no spaces. And uh, you'll get an invitation to join it. And you can chat with people that are already in Japan and talk about their experiences, which I think is really great. Um, it's a resource that uh, we've had now for, since pretty much since Discord started more or less. Been doing it for quite a long time. Please do join Discord because the notifications for these live streams are also there. I, I also want to talk about something that was, uh, um, the Digital Minister of Japan, which is actual position here. They have a digital minister. Japan is a country where people still read newspapers and you still almost need a fax machine for everyday life, which is weird, but necessary. I don't have one because you can go to the convenience stores to send faxes, but I find myself still needing to send a fax maybe once or twice a month for what I do to prefectural governments, agencies, uh, old corporations, even new ones. Uh, fax machines are still a thing because the workers there in particular are a little bit older than PDFs, I, I think. So yeah, the, my point is there's a digital minister to try to fix this and he's doing a pretty darn good job. His name is uh, Taro Kono or Kono Taro if you say it in the Japanese way. Japanese last name first, first name last, which is the way they do it in Japan. And uh, he had a uh, post on, um, on Twitter recently, let me see if I can find it for you and bring it up here. I thought it was really interesting because, you know, maybe I did, I'm pretty sure I took a screenshot of it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up right now. This is uh, the digital minister's post. This is something that does worry me and I think all of you should know this right now. Right now there, there is a, some of these, there's a few YouTubers that have talked about this but I want to point out that you, there is no app required for you to visit Japan. No app. One more time. No app to download. You do not install an app. You don't need to have an app on your phone. No app. All right. Apps, apps collect your information. Even on the you know Apple App Store, all apps have access to data. And it, it's why would the government have an app like that? So. There's no app. They actually, what the government has is called the Visit Japan website. It's all browser based. It's been like this for like a year now. No app 
and then the browser you can uh, uh, log in and this becomes an easy way by QR code. This is Kono Taro's or Taro Kono. It's confusing. His, like, you know, Mr. Kono, I want to, and he even put it in capital letters. I want to just tell you that it's still really confusing for, I think in English, you have to take the conventions of, you have to take the conventions of the culture of the people who are using it. So in English, you're probably better off to be Taro Kono and in Japanese being Kono Taro. I don't think this initiative that Abe-san, who is the former prime minister, um, is gonna work well. But as a minister, he kind of has to keep along with it. It's a very patriotic thing, but it's not working. After five or six years, it's uh, it's not working. Anyways, back to the point here. Um, by using this app, you do get a QR code. And if you, this will help you with paperwork, I believe. I'm not somebody who has entered and left Japan. But at the end of entering all the information required to enter Japan through this website browser based form, you get a QR code which you can scan on entry and it really cuts down on the need for paper and also cuts down on the time that you will wait because all the information has been entered already rather than writing it on a piece of paper. But with that said, it does not hurt to have it filled out on paper too as a backup. I don't know. It's just me being Japanese in the sense that more paper is better which is contrary to what they're trying to do here, but we're still in a transitional period. I think it's gonna get better. But the app there is for that. But also that app also has one other purpose. Uh, for people doing, um, how do I say this? Duty-free shopping, which I never thought was worth it, but if you're buying stuff here and the exchange rate's good enough to do that, you can get the taxes off as well, which is eight or 10% depending on what you buy. And uh, if you get those taxes off, you, this app, I think, will help you with that. It's also used as a way for duty-free shopping because it proves your, if you go through official channels with this app, with this, I, I keep calling it an app, it's not, with this website and with the codes that they give you, it becomes an official thing you can scan for duty-free shopping. Gera writes in here, uh, Jera. Gara writes in here, duty-free shopping is 100% worth it. Got it, okay. I don't get that. Although they ask me every time I go to Don Quixote where there's tourists, they say to me, um, would you like to use your passport? And I'm like, yeah, but I live here. And I say that in Japanese. And they're like, oh, I, I can't get that off. It, it's not a big purchase anyways. Usually just buying like Kit Kats or something. But you do get that and that's good. Daniel writes it, or is this browser based? Yes, for the 150th time. Although I, I sometimes call it an app. Yes, there is, all right, definitively, there is no app for the Japan government. Zero apps for entry to Japan. In regards to entry to Japan, there are no apps. Zero, none, nil, zilch, nada. Okay, did the website uh, codes less than 10 minutes to get into the country, boom. So uh, it's helpful to do the Visit Japan uh, app. It's, I think it's digital.geo.jp is the website and that digital website is an official government website. Geo is government JP of Japan. CO would be company. I, I think you might get it here. This is the offender this app right here. And it's pretty easy to figure out that this is a fake app. I mean, isn't it? Here's a Google Play. Uh, it's made by PT Indo Makmur Mandidi and he even signs his name. And he asks people for their credit card information when you install this app. And it's the Visit Japan Web Info app. With the same, it has the same map as uh, the one that's on the app that the government uses for entry into Japan. That's just a no-no. So I think it would be a good idea for you not to install that because I think the biggest issue is that it, at the, they ask you for your credit card information. I'm just gonna say that that's probably, the government of Japan categorically will never, it just sounds like a very definitive word. 
categorically denies the this app is with them and categorically will not ask for your credit card ever all right people were doing it because it looks official just keep in mind it's it, i think it's still on the google play shop maybe not on ios don't do it or do it and i, I don't know here's the official one it looks like this they have an official YouTube channel called Visit Japan Web. That's the name of their YouTube channel. It looks dodgy. It does not look like a government web uh, YouTube channel because it's not verified. So Kono Taro-san, make sure you get your website the, uh, verified by YouTube so people know it's an official government YouTube channel, all right? Because you're giving out information and I can't even tell it's an official YouTube channel. Here it is. It's the uh, digital uh, channel of Japan. It gives you the the information needed in order to set up the Visit Japan web. That's the official name. And you can comment to say it doesn't work. All this money from the government to make this video. And there's only nine comments. Maybe you should have a... <clears throat> YouTube creator help you with all of this stuff. Just saying, I would love to. I, I accept the position as honorary digital czar. I, they still use that. Anyways, the point is um, this information is on the website and I'll put a link to the description for the YouTube channel where they do seem to update it with stuff that you probably need to know. This changed four months ago and it, you can answer questions that is useful for you to enter into Japan. Just be aware that there are fake websites out there. Now, with that said, and as I wait for Satrio, Satrio, I, again, if you're not here in like five minutes, I'm like gonna be gone. So a digital hug to you and your wife and family. He's got a beautiful family. Digital Shogun, yes. Can I wield? I wield a weapon of choice, which is a very nice digital keyboard, maybe. I don't know. And hit people with it. If you know code, which I don't. It'd be hard to be a digital ambassador, though. I reject the job. Wait, does it have a salary? Okay. All right, anyways. Satrio is on his way. Look. Like, really? I don't... I don't see anywhere on the way. This is gonna be like peso running at me. I remember I was doing a live stream in, uh, where was it? Um, Jiogaoka? No, um, Sanginjaya, somewhere in the, the trendy areas of Setagaya. And I saw this guy charging me, and it was really, cre it was kind of scary. So some guy's running at you, but as he got closer, you could see he had a smile on, which did look somewhat evil. I guess from the bouncing, I'm not sure. But I st stood my st stood my position strong, and it ended up being peso. So it's funny. You can see that live stream that was live. If I knew like karate, I, he might have gone down, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, no, I, you, when peso came up close, you can tell. Uh, so basically, uh, in the end, Satria will be here. That wasn't scheduled, no. You came by taxi really quickly, I believe, from somewhere on the other side of town. But you did get a You Found Me card. He's blocking the view. I zoomed in specifically for showing you down the street and it's gone. Um, by the way, Lixel used to have the uh, advertisement here at the end of Ginza, and now it's uh, Brilla, or Bria, if it's uh, Spanish. There you go. There's a police museum that's pretty awesome. It shows you what happens when you get arrested and stuff. So that other IRL YouTuber who uh, was really not nice on the subway train, who's been arrested, we know what he's going through. It's not good, thanks to the police museum. <laughs> Shall I take you to the police museum? All right, the next traffic life, I'm gonna, we're gonna walk over to the police museum. Satrio, I'm at the police museum. And uh, we can see the process of 
this IRL streamer who's going right now through jail, which is you know, something I never wished that I would be happy about, but this guy deserved it, if anybody did. Um, Spike021 writes in here, refreshing the baby fun. Hey, I finally be back in three and a half weeks. Awesome. Thanks as always for the information. It is my pleasure. You're gonna come through in record time, like five, 10 minutes compared to what it was just a couple of years ago. Is that Satrio? I said someone said, hey. It sounded like, you know, when you're in Philadelphia, if anyone's ever been to Philly, people shouting on the streets all the time. Hey, it's almost like a Rocky, like Rocky the movie, remember that? Hey, yo. Like people don't shout on the streets in Tokyo, but they kind of do these days with foreign tourism back. All right, I'm gonna take you to the police museum, just the front. I think it's worthy of your visit to uh, the police museum to learn about what happens when they book you and uh, how to stay safe. There's some really useful information, but the coolest thing of them all is that you can sit inside of a police car, I think, or they have some sort of vehicles inside there where you can, uh, oh, here's a monument of uh, Kyobashi. Is this Kyobashi? Yeah, Kyobashi's old monument. So sometimes you'll see some of this stuff. Um, a lot of it was damaged in the 1920. Like I, people walk by this all the time. I almost did right now. This is built well before like 1923, uh, Great Kanto earthquake. And you can see how it hasn't been repaired or touched since then pretty much. And you don't find a lot of uh, stuff like this. I'm looking at it right there. You don't find a lot of stuff like this around the city. But it's here and um, you can come and touch it, which is what... It's an old, uh, old metal. There's a monument here in, in uh, Japanese, no English, about Kyobashi. I'm only, Satri, I'm only doing this for you. This is a new building. This is Bridgestone's headquarters. If anyone knows Bridgestone, it's a Japanese bicycle company, but that makes good tires. But they also make bicycles and my bicycle's a Bridgestone and they have their offices here. But on the first floor is a, a Mont Bell, which is the um, like North Face of Japan, the company. They make a lot of clothes and tents that's really lightweight, but it's also see, feels a little flimsy. And right across the street just happens to be where the cops are at. Woo, 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 woo. The police museum, which is so awesome. That is a high speed police car. That's not, that's not a normal police car. And inside there, they have a police helicopter from the 1970s. You see it, it's got like a, the bubble, the glass bubble in there. And uh, I think you can, you used to, I think you can sit inside there. It's a narrow building inside on the fifth floor. You can walk through there, there's a disaster. Um, what happens if there's an earthquake and things like this. Also, it shows you some of the statistics on crime in Japan. And yeah, that IRL streamer guy who's been kicked off of every platform except for one, he's not gonna be doing good. You can learn about it all in the police museum. All right, you should be able to see Satrio running this direction. This is looking down uh, Ginza towards Shimbashi, which is in the far, far end. Walking down on the weekends, they close the street from 12 to five. And it's awesome because there's no cars down it, but during the, during the weekdays it is. Um, you can get a bento and just eat at one of the tables that they have. If you get there at 12 o'clock when they first close it, you can snag a table, get some sandwiches from the uh, Kimura uh, Bakery. Kimuraya and uh, um, eat a uh, ebikatsu sando uh, right there in Ginza with some uh, hot tea or something. And uh, we should be seeing uh, Satria's running ability. 
uh, coming soon. Maybe. Shouldn't have been that far away. Where were you, like in Shimbashi? Uh, 20 minutes uh, is about, no, I think it would take about 10 minutes to get to the other side. All right, well, I got you for a second. Raise your hands if you've seen the, the monster Japanese scallop episode. Um, so this was a really uh, great episode that allowed me to learn more about scallops. And if you've never seen Japanese scallops, they're really, really massive. And I, I think if you go and watch this, it starts in my living room, sorry, in my, at my front door as I ordered literally from Hokkaido, direct from the fishermen, I ordered uh, three kilograms of scallops. But it wasn't three kilograms of scallops. They were scallops in the shell because they're fresh. So it wasn't really that many scallops in there. I think we got, hold on a second. I think we got maybe 10 or 11 scallop shells, but they were really big. So, and I think it was about 3,000 yen or what's that, like $20. So that's a pretty good deal for them. You can eat them raw too because they were uh, fresh and sent by um, refrigerated car, which is pretty cool. Uh, Kanai cut them up and we fried them in the pan. We didn't want to eat them as sashimi. Just, I don't feel comfortable with that. You, you pay for the shells. And then um, we had a pretty good meal of it. But if you watch to the end, Leo, you can see Leo chomping on one of those uh, scallops. So that is a new episode edited on the uh, main, on, on this channel, not even the main channel. And I want to say uh, thank you to all of our Patreons uh, on the 29th or maybe early. Do you see this? Uh, this this episode is going to be released. This is the postcard for this month for supporters on Patreon. Thank you all so much for that. You get the reason to join Patreon is that you get notifications on every live stream, and you get a postcard sent to you if you're in the postcard club every month. This month is the uh, atomic bomb streetcars. Uh, this particular streetcar was bombed out, burnt out. Uh, and then repaired and put back online. In fact, the company, Hiroden, which is Hiroshima uh, Denki um, Electric Company, they run the fleet of buses and, and streetcars, and they had it back online 72 hours after the atomic bomb. That's insane. This was 72 hours back running after the bomb, they had a streetcar running. That's crazy. So I made an episode that's uh, right now being um, uh, right now being checked out by Hiroshima for facts because I wanted it fact checked by the prefecture, and I'm working with them, so that's a good thing. And I interviewed a 92-year-old woman who is the conductor of the streetcar that returned three days after the bomb. She was 14 years old when the bomb exploded in Hiroshima. She was just a, a, a few kilometers away. The, she saw a flash and she hit her back against and she jumped onto her desk and she hit the back of her her back on the desk and it was really really painful but she lived without having any she was inside of a, a strong building and she lived without having any um, radiation or damage or anything and she was able to go back to work 72 hours later there were a great number of people uh, who were able to do that and um, Yes, Satrio, I don't know if you're going to make it, man. I thought you said you were going to be in Ginza. I, you're not going to make it. If you're, I don't know where you are. So the, um, um, the story that she tells the interview is about half the episode cut up with old footage from the U.S. military that's been declassified of the streetcar in the background, which I found fascinating because nobody has ever cut up some of the old footage from 1945 that is available at the Light Con uh, uh, Library of Congress. You can download this stuff. And it was, um, you know, 
a hard episode to put together because I went through many hours of the footage to look for just small cuts of the streetcar going by. So when this drops this week, coming up, the 28th or 29th, it depends when I get the uh, confirmation, it's gonna be pretty interesting and you're gonna see what I've been doing for the last couple of months. It, these documentaries are pretty hard, but you're gonna be, I, when I was editing it, I was in tears. So I hope that it's something that um, touches you and shows that Hiroshima isn't just the bomb, but the people that are in it who are sharing their experiences because there aren't that many left. And I told you guys at the beginning of this year, this channel's focus is gonna be on more historical stuff where I wanna, I wanna keep the history of those that are leaving us, um, in particular during World War II, because those voices are getting less and less. And the Tokyo firebombing episode, um, because I had to get the, per get, um, there are conditions with the Hiroshima video that they need to check this. So I had to get that out first. I believe Satriya is 400 meters away. Yes, Satriya, you're just not gonna make it. I'm out of stuff to talk about. I can't believe you, you said you're gonna be in Ginza. What? Like we confirmed this, Satriya. Should we help him? Should we help him like walk towards him maybe? All right, it's gonna be really short. Hello to Satrio. Hit the like button, by the way. Oh, hit the like button on that scallops video too. Not a lot of people did that. I think that's that's uh, not helping it with the search and all that. I should be able to see some some dude running. You better be out of breath, because I am. Because I've had to talk, make stuff up, keep this thing going longer. I got a thousand things to talk about, but I'm starting to lose my voice. You see him running? I don't, is that on you on the bicycle? Is that him on the bicycle? No. Are you even running? Knees up, knees up, high knees. We used to, do this in track and field. Get the knees up. That's how you get more speed. And you can slalom between uh, people. That's what I did in, in high school. I was always the first one in class when the at bell rings because I, I learned to slalom. Again, I was not a popular student, but I could slalom between people in high school. I mean, I should have played football when I think about it because it gives you like the ability to get through everything. Of uh, people. I don't see him. I'm really looking hard, Satrio. I just don't see you. Do you see me waving? I don't even see you. You said you're near. I, I don't even see you. Wave your hand if you're even near. I can't. Are you making, are you just making that up? Are you just making it up that you're coming? I don't even see you. Where are you? More than a mile, sir. Where the heck were you? I don't know. It's somewhere around, uh, you said Chuo Avenue or something? Yeah, this is Chuo Dori, yeah. Chuo, Chuo Avenue. Dori. I, uh, somewhere. It's hard to because it's difficult to explain, but yeah, now. Now here you are. Yeah. I like your, I like your happy. Yeah. This it looks very stylish, sir. Uh, there are many people uh, saw this as a koi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here. Only in Japan, yeah, in katakana, yeah, katakana there, yeah. Yeah, even uh, Starbucks, uh, Starbucks employees. Kataka is my hometown. Hello, everyone. Say hi to everybody. Everybody, everyone. Uh, oh, and scallops. 
uh, Scallops episode is also in in Ghost Stream, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? why, why, why did you put on the Ghost Stream, not on the? It wasn't enough information, I think, for main channel episode. Uh -huh. uh, I was gonna go there, and then the Scallop company's like no, and I said, okay, well, it's not really oh, enough, a, a, not an interesting enough for the main channel. Okay, I see. So I said, but I will do it for Go, and they said okay. Ah. Oh. So. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to learn more about scallops. Anyways, yes. yes. Well, you're here. Yes. When you entered into Japan, uh -huh. what did you have to do? Did you need that app or no, no. you used the paper? Yeah, I used the paper, but they also have the alternative. They have a machine to, uh, to yeah. You could do both. Yeah. And if you both. have the app, it's a little faster, maybe. By the apps. It's the QR code, right? Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah. It's a bit faster if you have, if you need have the information before yeah but like me like us we don't know anything yeah he's also with me yeah uh, hi, hi. <laughs> yes so uh we don't need anything about the vaccines or anything smooth entry smooth entry uh -huh. and smooth exit yes smooth exit when are you leaving yeah uh, today? Today, tonight, tonight. midnight. Yeah. Tonight? Yes. This is why you had to come. <laughs> but I saw you at Disney and I saw you at, um, uh, a little bit in Asakusa yeah, recently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just haven't been streaming too much uh, lately. Yeah. But you know, John, uh, one uh, person in airport, he he noticed the, the bag. Oh, right. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, this is the... Uh, the Only in Japan, Hokkaido Adventure last year, the Echo Bag. Yes. These things are super useful. Yeah. Maybe they, they don't ask anything about the vaccines because, oh, this is. Does only... it even look. I'll show the other side. Oh, yeah, this is. Does this even look like me? It, it sort of doesn't look. It looks like Peter a little bit. <laughs> and he's all stretched out. Yeah. It sort of looks like me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Dakota did a good job of it. That's a Nobori Betsu Oni. Oh, yeah. And we put some little cute animals in there. Mm -hmm. I added the stars, like ah, 1950s uh, I see. stars. Okay. That's very cool. There. Yeah, I have a. Did I give you a You Found Me card? Of course. Uh, no, no, not yet. I haven't? No, no. Well, no, then you, have, but... you found me many times. All right, here you go. Let's see if I can get a. Yes, thank you. You also? Yeah, thank uh, you, thank you. Yeah. Can I get one more for my friend that yesterday? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Right! Yeah! In the uh, Disney, Disney Sea. You yeah. know, John. Uh, tomorrow Disney is very crowded. It's full pack even after almost nine o'clock. What was crowded? Uh, Disney. Uh, yeah, the Disney Sea is very crowded. It's very packed. Um, even in the uh, half hour before closing, Toy Story Mania is like oh the, the Toy, Toy Story. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. The, you want to go to the Indiana Jones too? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, the I back don't. of the park. Toy Story is pretty popular. I remember going there, and maybe it just it's changed. But before, like 8.30, when the fireworks are going on and stuff, yes, yeah. <laughs> the park like pretty much clears out. And uh, the, the uh, Indiana Jones ride, I did it in 30 minutes. I did it five times. Oh, I, I rode, I exited, I went straight back onto the ride again because there's nobody there. And after oh, really? five times, it wasn't fun anymore. Uh, or so I finished the ride. Was it a I graduated. Or holiday? Maybe you, you, you went on, not, not on a holiday? Not this right time. Now. This was like um, 12 years ago. So I don't need to ever do it. After five times in a row and then five times before that, after waiting in line for 30 minutes or more, yeah. I feel no urgency to ever ride it again. Ah, I see. So, but uh, I'm glad I rode the uh, Tower of Terror. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's, that's kind of fun. Uh -huh. How long did you wait? Uh, 90 minutes. How long did the ride last? But, um, it's a couple six, minutes. Six minutes, yeah. yeah. But it's worth it. It's a little bit longer than the other ones because they make you walk through it with presentations and, yeah. and stuff. So it's yeah. kind of a cool... Like reception. Yeah, it's kind of a cool ride in that sense, but it's not right to say. You want to say hi to your kids? Hi! Laika, Mika, uh, Lia, Mama, Papa, Tinton, teman-teman Datin, Dakip. Hi, semua. I'm with John. Hey, you know John? Yeah, and Ma I don't remember any of the Indonesian you taught me before, oh, yeah. so I'm sorry. Pajar, Era, yeah. like you say with uh, Peter, right? 
Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ogo. Hey, Ogo, you have child. You know, you know uh, he, he got his uh, third born baby. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, Ogo. Hey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are they watching? Yes. Maybe. Oh, yeah. really? I told them to watch me with Look, you. I'm now putting my finger right through the screen to you. Oh, 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 oh. Leo, Leo does that too. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Hey, how about the toys? Does he play with? A little bit. We j just gave it to him, oh, and then now he's napping. So ah, I, I have a I have a picture. Should I bring it up? I don't know if I'm allowed to show it. Can I? Might get upset here. Here, now, Satrio gave us. Uh, ah, yeah, it's a traditional uh, garment. Leo looks like he's he's uh, with the toys like. What is this? Well, what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't take great pictures. He's like, Leo, look at the camera. He's like, look at the camera. Yeah. He does the opposite of what I say. He's at that age. Yeah. Yesterday, he's running to me, right? And, oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And I said, come here. And he started running to following you guys. I think he wanted to go to Jakarta, too. Hey, well, you have some fun over there. Yeah. Weather's nicer in Jakarta. Oh, how, how's Jakarta doing? Uh, I saw that the weather, the, polluted, you know, yeah, the pollution would look yeah, really bad when yeah, I saw. Uh, in a couple of, I don't know, months or years maybe. Where's it coming from? Uh, in uh, power, uh, what is it, power coal, you know? Ah, uh, like industry. Yeah, industry. <laughs> yeah, there's right, it's some bad pollution in Jakarta, but I think it'll clean up in a couple of years. Yeah, I hope so. Just the, the air, the um era that you live in as a yeah. as a developing yeah. developed country yes. i thought jakarta's really developed though yeah the, the building and the infrastructure yes but the air is yeah, that's the next stage tokyo in the 1980s was the same thing but that was 50 years ago yes. right so now it's cleaner the samita river was smelled so really? bad from pollution yeah in the summertime when it got hot and the the, the algae and this terrible stench of the city of Tokyo the, the it was almost like Cleveland you know Cleveland the, yeah, out in yeah. Kawasaki there were like fires on the river from the pollution mm -hmm. uh, all going into there in this Tama River so uh, yeah you know next stage no more cars in downtown Jakarta yeah, and also, people uh, want to live a better life now yeah, or change it with electric cars electric motors yeah mm -hmm. no, that's all coming same with China yeah. but I was in Kagoshima two weeks ago all that pollution from China was coming to Kagoshima. You couldn't even see um, the mountains in certain days, depending on which way the wind was coming. It was really bad, and my throat hurt a little bit from the pollution. So Kagoshima and southern Kyushu getting a little bit of that at this time of year. Yeah. Um, but I think even China will get cleaner. Yeah. Maybe not because they want to, but because their economy is like tanking right now. Oh, maybe. I yeah. Uh, in the pandemic, they said it was good because there weren't as many factories yeah, open. Yeah. So Kagoshima was like, thank you, pandemic, that was but, the, if anything. You know, John, one of the uh, ironic things, or maybe sad, once I get off the uh, airport and I saw the blue sky, and then ah. I just, oh, blue sky. That's a little thing, but we just kind of surprised. Forget that. about that, yeah. yeah. My kids maybe forget about the blue sky of Jakarta. Really? Yeah. Has it been that long? Yes. It's all long. I had no idea that. I just was seeing in the news recently, Jakarta's pollution is getting worse, not better. Yeah. So, your kids need fresh air. But not in the region of, uh, in, in other regions like Bali or uh, like uh, Komodo Island maybe. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Well, other places in Java. Are, yeah, yeah. How, how's Jogja? Is that? Jogja is not, also, uh, not, not like Jakarta, but yeah, uh, it's uh, worse than Bali or oh. Abuan Bajo. You, you should try to Abuan Bajo, Pulau Komodo Island. Ah, oh, right, right. Yeah. I've been down Java once when I was backpacking. Uh -huh. I came from Bali to Jakarta and I took the train from Jogja to Jakarta. Oh, really? That was an awesome train. What year? 2003. Uh, it was the year of the bomb also. Oh, I see. The Bali. Uh, but it had just it finished or the year after. Um, but li listen to this, okay? I had three thousand dollars in American cash that I left under the bed in Bali, oh. under the mattress. Tell me the whole thing. Tell me the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> Kamala Inda Two on Kuta Beach. Oh. It's not on it because it was a dollar a night. Mm -hmm. 
about, but I put $3,000 in $100 bills under the mattress, between the, the bed and the mattress, and I got to Jakarta. Oh, no, no, I got to Jogja. Oh, yeah. I took the ferry there, mm -hmm. real local, and I said, oh, crap. So I had to book a flight that I could tell nobody. I booked a flight, $3,000 is a lot of money. Yes. Back then. Yes. I got back to Bali and there, somebody had just checked out of the room. Oh my God. And I said, can I get go back into that room? And she said, sure. I didn't tell anybody why. I said, I, I think I left something in there. She goes, oh, we've cleaned it. I said, okay, I'll check in there. It was still there. Uh, didn't tell anybody. Okay. That was uh, yeah, 3,000 and uh, $31, $100 bills. And then I took the, the ferry back to Jogja. I was on a real, that $3,000 was the rest of my trip actually. <laughs> And then I got back. I took went back, but to Jogja by um, ferry and then train. Oh, my ferry. Okay. And um, people that locals that I met had picked me up and uh, took me to their batik. Every time I went, they want to sell me batik. Yeah. So I like batik, and then I started to hate batik because everyone trying to sell me batik. Yeah. One dollar. One dollar batik. One dollar. I see. I know. I ha I already have all the batik I need. I I filled the bag up with batik, but it's really beautiful art. Yeah, something that you gotta buy in Indonesia. Yeah, batik. Yeah, buy a batik. Well, it's good to see you guys. Yes, of course. For the third time, uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, third time in five days. Did you get to do everything that you wanted to on this trip? Yes, uh, ninety percent of the list. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. What was the ten? Uh, you Yokohama. know, you, you uh, Yokohama. <laughs> he, he went to Yokohama. Well, me and my friend, uh, he we, we we went to Disney yesterday. Oh, you did that. Hey! I found you! I see, yeah, we, we have yeah. Goku here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing the Kameha. <laughs> now, uh, John give you the ah. new found the card. Yeah, this is... Hi! Thank you, John! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I found you. I thought you were very hard to find, actually, John. <laughs> How was your first trip to Japan? Uh, Good? Uh, yeah. um, actually, it's... Uh, we we fly uh, at start in the morning from Indonesia and arrive at um, midnight past midnight, midnight yes. yeah so it's very very uh, exhausted <laughs> bad, yeah yeah we have to find the hotel at 2 p.m in the morning did you have a reservation already yes. yeah, oh, yeah yes. that's a, but, but that's hard yeah there is no transport i mean yes there is taxi but there is no other transportation other than taxi yeah. right so but, so I, I suggest that if you want to go to japan don't go up to midnight <laughs> yeah but we got delayed you know yeah we get delayed we yeah. get delayed so it can't be helped yes. a lot, most people they just will get a coffee and wait for two hours yeah. <laughs> and then the first train or you can take a taxi but it's not that bad from haneda right yeah, yeah haneda. if it was narita that's yeah. bad yeah that's haneda not too bad actually i will return to japan uh in february and the flight is in narita oh Okay, I yeah. think that, you know, they should have 24-hour buses. I guess it depends on your hotel as well. Yeah, but uh, the schedule... How many is, stars it has? We arrive in the morning, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. In the morning, so there are many. With, 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 the with the family. With the family in February. Yeah. And but, food is very good. The food is very good here. Really? Yes, I like the food. Did you try any nasi goreng here in Japan? Eh? You have? Eh? Well, yeah. there's Indonesian restaurants here. You Where? did not go? No. Where? Really? Where? Uh, there's a food truck near my house that has Indonesian food. Uh, but tomorrow we already have the we, we will have the Indonesian food. Yeah. So you're gonna have it. <laughs> but, but I'm curious to see what, yeah. what the if it's any different. Yeah. If it's been Japanified. Indonesian food made by Japanese. People. Do you guys know nasi goreng? Oh my gosh, it's so good. That's just <laughs> one of a that's one of a thousand dishes. That's maybe the most popular one. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Well, nice to see you all. Nice Thanks for nice. you all. Thank Thank you. Yeah. 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 Three times, yeah. Yeah, yeah three, three times. times. Yeah. You know. we see him also. I give you three cards, but yeah, I, no. <laughs> I don't have that many yeah, left. Thank you. Thank you. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, guys. All right. Okay. Fist bumps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, after this. I'll take a picture. No, you can take a picture now. Yeah. Uh, maybe a short video. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Should I dance? Or? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 like no, like you did on the train, like oh yeah, the yeah, train dance. Back, back then, uh, oh yeah, the uh, where was it? Uh, with, with Peter, I believe. A uh, Morioka. Morioka, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the dancer that will get me divorced. That's a Shinkansen <laughs> shuffle. Yeah, trust me, you don't want to do that dance. Okay. Yeah, I like uh, 
can you say happy birthday to my mom? In two days, you will get to. Oh, happy birthday, birthday to your mom? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ma, mau dapat ucapan selamat ulang tahun nih dari John nih, Ma. Mom, happy birthday! Is that is that good? Yeah. Can you make a short video with me? Oh yeah, sure. In Japan. All right, let's do it. One and two and three. Only in Japan. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. But that's Peter who says that, not me, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think I might have, I think he has his trademark too. I think I might get in trouble, Peter, yeah, yeah. if I do it. Piloting the ride. <laughs> yeah, I, I violated Peter's. He does a title call. He did, did it since the first episode, so I'm really happy for that. But only in Japan. He has a way to do it. He changed it up for the new channel, so we'd be a little bit more updated and more forward. More, uh, yeah, leaning forward, kind of. More energy. So, yeah. so, how do you think about the traffic to Haneda uh, today? Is it it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's a weekday. Should be okay. Oh, okay. Are you taking a taxi? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Just yeah. do monorail. The rail. Monorail. Yeah, monorail. Is, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's fun. From, from Tokyo Station. Hamamatsu. Hamamatsu. Yeah. It's on the Yamanote line. Yeah. Um, yeah. From JR, you can. You don't even have to leave JR Station. There's a crosswalk now that connects to the monorail. Oh yeah. So it's really convenient. But if you take Oedo Line, you got to come out. And then up around some construction. Mm. After Hello. this, we go to Hibiya Park and then took the Hato Bus uh, City Tour. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, uh -huh. and then go back to the hotel, pick up the baggage, uh, and go back to Haneda. And we go to some food, probably in Haneda. Okay. But yeah, yeah Haneda's yeah. got a lot of stuff to do. Yes. Some ramen and yeah. stuff, yeah. Uh, John uh, stream there. I streamed a lot there. <laughs> it's getting harder. I don't love the stuff that I did before. I don't think I could do again because of that guy who got arrested. Did you know about it? The the American Somali guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I saw. Yeah, he's in chains yeah, yeah, now. Because he walked into a construction site, and he said, "There's no sign." He's wearing a mask, trying to. This is a YouTuber, right? No, uh, TikTokers. YouTube. Or? They all kicked him off except for like this uh, pirate, like weird oh. site. Yeah, yeah. I know. But yeah, he's done. Yeah, yeah. So it's getting hard to get the. Well, he made it hard for people like me to do this <laughs> on the street. I, you know, and uh, just be, most people are like 99% of the people are okay, but there'll be one person who say, no, yeah. and they'll take the. It becomes an issue. Mm. But I always I try to put the camera down yeah, if I can. Yeah, if it's yeah. like if I accidentally do it, I yeah, should yeah, I put. Yeah. I yeah, it, the culture then, yeah. It's privacy yes, issues. Yes. It's just a different, different rules. Yeah. yeah. Different. All right, guys. Okay, okay, thank, guys. You guys. Uh, thank you, John. Thank you. How about the last time we uh, scream only in Japan? Oh, really? the, 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 the four of us. How about scream? We see John screaming in scream? Indonesia. No, 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 no. Shouts. Shout it? <laughs> That's the same. <laughs> How about next time we see John's team in Indonesia? Uh, hopefully. Uh, he, he once did in Bali. Oh, oh yeah, did I? Yeah. Yeah, in That's your true. honeymoon. On the honeymoon, a couple yeah. times. Yes. Yeah, I had some, uh, what do you call custard apples and uh, yeah. all this great <laughs> fruit that they have there. I don't know how you say that. We, uh, but they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. Good guys. Thank you, John. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, in Japan. All in Japan. All and in I found Japan. John now. Whoa. <laughs> see you on February. Oh, February, okay. Yes. All right, Satya, see you guys in February. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, John. Thank you, John. Okay, bye-bye. All right, everybody, matane. Matane.